All right, good evening and welcome to our next edition of Cooking with Michael. We're finally, uh, well, sort of done with construction, but we're also on vacation. As I promised, we are in South Carolina, Myrtle Beach. Uh, and we're going to show uh, some different things about Myrtle Beach and see what we can uh, come up with for, uh, for some good food here. Uh, some different restaurants, mostly Myrtle Beach is uh, all about uh, tourists and it's about uh, uh, buffets and things like that. So we're gonna do some of the buffets and the touristy kind of things. Uh, well, we're going to check it out, see if there's anything specific to uh, Myrtle Beach and the Myrtle Beach food. But don't worry. What's really important is before we left, thank you, Andrew. Chapel beer and wine. We got our Pinot Grigio. You know me, I can't go anywhere without my Pinot Grigio. So, and since we drove down here and didn't fly, I didn't have to worry about uh, packing it. I'm going to go ahead, yes, it's screwed up, and I'm going to use a real wine glass. Why? Because they don't have regular glasses in our kitchen. Uh, we rented a condo, and there's not a whole lot here, um, you know, in the way of regular glasses. So I'm going to become uh, cool again. Uh, not cool. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and drink uh, some Pinot Grigio. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you some things uh, that's really Myrtle Beach-like. Uh, we'll show you some of the sites. We'll show you some, like I said, some of the buffet restaurants and uh, show you different things. And date night, as we said, doesn't always have to be about... Uh, you know, a, a, just a you and your loved one and spouse, significant other, what have you. It can be, but it's also about going places and, and showing them some really cool places and, and spending time with your family too. So uh, thanks for watching. Let's have a great uh, video and enjoy it. Drink some Pinot Grigio. I know I'm going to. Drink some Pinot Grigio. I don't know if I said that already. And we'll be right back. Okay, I know we were supposed to uh, show you some food and restaurants, uh, but there's a beach here, as you can see, and look at all the water, and the ocean, and look at this. It's just amazing. It's amazing, but, oh, crap, it's a cooking show. We're supposed to kind of show you what's going on with food, so, yep, there's really uh, just more water here, and, and all right, all right, all right, all right, uh, let's go. Uh, let's go show you some food. All right, so... You know, we talked about showing you some of the local uh, restaurants around here. So we decided tonight we were going to go to a local Carolina. Because when you're in the Carolinas, you think barbecue. So we decided to go to a barbecue restaurant. Uh, we walked in. Uh, we all looked at each other and went, no. Yeah, that uh, wasn't so much the crowding. It was the fact that um, the food did not look, um, well, appetizing and and. Kevin, I know you're watching and you think spicing and, you know, all that. You talk about whether or not we spice our food and whatnot. I'm sure there was spice in this food, but it just looked awful. So we're going to go to another one. Um, there's a lot of chain restaurants down here in Myrtle Beach, uh, which we want to try and find something that's not chain related. So um, we're off to the next location to see what uh, we can come up with and maybe find something that if it's at least a Carolina chain, maybe that's good or something local. I don't know. Let's see where it takes us. Let's roll. Okay, so we've had a real hard time finding good uh, local food here in Myrtle Beach, primarily because uh, tourist season and uh, all the name, big names that uh, people go to for seafood and whatnot have a couple hour waits. And you know, it's sometimes when you bring kids, you can't wait that amount of time. So, but we do have a beach behind us. Uh, the ocean, still a great, great time. Uh, we'll show you uh, some seafood tonight and uh, I'll show you how to wrap this whole thing up. Pier 14, yes! Crap, two hour wait, nope. How about Mo Moons? Right on the boardwalk, local place here in Myrtle Beach. We'll give it a shot, and it's only a 20 minute wait, so I guess this is what we're gonna eat. Mo Moons on the boardwalk, Myrtle Beach. All right, so here we are. You saw where we ended up eating. We've gone to like four restaurants, hour and a half, two hour wait. Um, for traditional local cuisine here in uh, Myrtle Beach. So what do we end up with? Burgers. Like and subscribe. And tacos. And hot dogs. And, and like and subscribe. Josh said like and subscribe. Alex? Hot dogs. Hot dogs. So this is what we've ended up with. You know what? It doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, we're still on the beach, uh, sitting outside. Uh, 
I'm drinking some beer, no Pinot Grigio here at, um, where the hell are we? Mo Moons, um, the only place that had a 20 minute wait as opposed to an hour and a half. So, but anyway, um, take a look at uh, the beach and uh, there's the beach and uh, we're gonna eat and they're gonna have some fun and drink some beer and, and hang out with the family for a uh, you know, great Myrtle Beach meal of uh, hamburger that's pretty much anywhere you can get from anywhere. So Josh's thumbs behind me, giving a thumbs up. I'm going back to dinner. All right, so a big thing down here in Myrtle Beach is the buffets. All you can eat crab legs, uh, which I happen to love. So you can see the I got a big old plate of crab legs, uh, and then now as you can see more crab legs here and uh, fried okra, big southern dish, and of course uh, calabash seafood. What is calabash seafood? Well, let me tell you. So in our quest for finding a local food, local specialty. Uh, we, we noticed as we were looking for a lot of different restaurants, a lot of them said Calabash Seafood Restaurant or Calabash Seafood Buffet. And I have to be honest with you, I had no idea what Calabash was. Um, so I had to look it up. So Calabash Seafood is Southern style seafood that is dipped in a flavorful batter uh, and then deep fried, okay? I can tell you right now, it is fantastic. It is fantastic. So what I'd like to do, and I'll do some more research, is find out exactly what's in that batter and then try it at home. And I'll make it for you guys on, on one of our future episodes. So, um, but that's, uh, that's pretty much what we found for local uh, food here in Myrtle Beach. So I'm gonna drink my beer and, and uh, get ready to enjoy my last night and go from there. Um, and then next week, we're back to, uh, to what we do best, cooking in a new kitchen and uh, doing uh, again what we love and, and show you some good food and we may even take some of the recipes that we saw down here that we couldn't try because of you know the fact that it was several hours of wait we'll try some of those coming up uh, in the next couple weeks so keep watching and we will uh, show you some great stuff in the future so again thanks for uh, bearing with us over the last few weeks between construction and vacation and we hope you uh enjoyed uh, watching this little clip of our uh, trip to Myrtle Beach and we'll see you next Saturday night 8 p.m. on Cooking with Michael. Thanks so much. Have a great, great night.